Accused of stabbing an Amtrak train conductor and three passengers in Niles reportedly told detectives that he saw demons. 44-year-old Michael Williams from Saginaw was officially charged this afternoon with four counts of assault with intent to murder. WSBT 22's Denise Bone was in court. And Denise, you know, court documents indicated Williams boarded the train in Chicago with a large hunting knife. That's right. The knife had a five-inch blade, and according to court documents, following his arrest, Williams told detectives he was talking to a guy on the train and that that guy turned into a demon and that he had to fight him. People versus Michael Darnell Williams. Are you that person, sir? Yes. 44-year-old Michael Williams appeared calm and answered the judge's questions clearly while appearing by video for his arraignment hearing in Berrien County. Police say around 7 o'clock Friday night, Williams pulled out a large knife and stabbed the train's conductor at least six times in the head, face, and body. They say he then attacked three passengers, stabbing them each once. Court documents indicate that Williams also charged at a Niles police officer with a five-inch blade knife in hand. That's when that officer tased Williams and handcuffed him. Williams has been under suicide watch in jail ever since his arrest. He told the judge Monday he was employed and lives in Saginaw. How long has he been there? Stop for now because I was a truck driver. Williams' 89-year-old grandmother, Ethel, says that Williams served 10 years in the Army and recently kept saying he was scared. He said that people, somebody was following him. Everywhere he gets somewhere, they, they say he sees people and he can be scared. Williams is expected to undergo a mental health evaluation. Before being taken back to his cell, he asked the judge a question about his $1 million bond. Question, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Um, I know you just said a million dollars, which is a lot, but uh, is there any kind of way I could do that on a cognizant? Uh, no, sir. Uh, these are some very serious charges uh, involving multiple victims. You are not a resident of Farron County, uh, and uh, I'm concerned to make sure that you come back. Now, we are told that none of the victims are from Michigan and all are expected to recover from their injuries. Williams has another court date on Friday. It's a pre-exam, and then he'll return to court next Tuesday for another hearing where witnesses are expected to testify about what happened. In the studio, Denise Bone, WSVT 22 News.